welcome back to civil engineers youtube channel in this video lecture i will guide you for depth and width of foundation if you want to build your house and the house is g plus two story residential building so what should be the size of footing and its depth inside steel reinforcement this video is very important for you people if you are working on construction site if you are not related civil engineering field and you want to build your house up to three story ground floor plus floor and second floor so watch this video till the end to know about new information related foundation construction let's get start guys the size is first of all uh, as i discussed the, the the topic depth and width of the footing so guys this is square footing and you can see clearly first of all i will guide you properly about this diagram guys you can see this is ground level gl you can see clearly this is gl and next guys you can see this is its width of footing and this is its depth okay to the ground level from the bottom of this foundation so first of all i will guide you for size of footing remember guys size of footing for g plus two story it means g plus two story about three floors building okay so for this so the size of the footing should not be less than 1.3 meter by 1.3 meter this is size of footing for g plus two story residential building not for commercial building next guys let me guide you for so let me create a top view this is top view okay so the size is 1.3 meter by 1.3 meter inside this this is a column you can see so this is its size so here you can write so this is 1.3 meter 1.3 meter so what should be the depth of the footing so the depth of the footing for g plus two story depth of footing okay depth of the footing should be 1.45 meter you can say 1.45 meter it should not be less than this because this is g but i'm not creating or i'm not guiding you for the minimum size this is maximum size because i don't know the bearing capacity of your side so therefore we should keep the maximum size not the minimum size if i guide you for the minimum size maybe you don't know and you will consider the minimum size then you will face more problems so this is the maximum size so what is the minimum size the minimum size is here one one meter by one meter and the depth is 1.2 meter but this is maximum size let me guide you yeah, for this so this is max maximum size this is also maximum size okay but you should not be less than this okay so this is its depth so la now let me write here the depth of the footing d is equal 1.45 meter it means 145 centimeter this is its depth okay so to the ground level this one guys you can see clearly next guys here this is the size and this is its depth but now guys here you can see the steel reinforcement don't provide doubly mesh because this is residential building not commercial building provide singly mesh guys you can see this is singly mesh you can see so here i will guide you for steel reinforcement so same i will create the plan of the footing so this is plan of footing now let me place the steel reinforcement main bars and distribution bars like this so here guys remember use 12 millimeter die of steel rod with the spacing of 15 centimeter center to center 12 millimeter die of steel rod with the spacing of 15 centimeter or you can say six inches center to center distance between two column uh, between the uh, steel reinforcement okay this is spacing so guys you can see this is here saying levish and you can see this hook guys you can see this one also left side and right side so remember the side legs are you can say hooks it should not be less than 15 centimeter or six inches for both side next guys you can see the column so this is the column longitudinal bars 
Okay, so the column longitudinal bars legs should be placed on the top of the mesh, guys. You can see also on the other side. So this length should not be less than, or you can say legs length, okay, for column. It should not be less than 30 centimeter, or you can say 12 inches. This is very important, okay, for single mesh. Next, what should be the size of column? So for G plus one story, the size of the column should not be less than 9 by 12 inches. So this is minimum size. And the maximum size, I will tell you guys, keep the maximum size 12 by 15 inches. But I am recommending you use the standard size. So the standard size is here, guys, which is 12 by 12 inches. You can keep for normal residential building but this is safe side this is normal and this is maximum so what should be the inside steel reinforcement so provide six numbers of steel rods and the dia should not be less than 12 millimeter and the lateral ties dia should not be less than 8 millimeter with the spacing of 6 inches hooks should be provided on 135 degree and the spacing should be 6 inches as you can see guys these are the steel reinforcement details and use m20 grade concrete this is also very important for this use m20 grade concrete which ratio is here 1 ratio 1.5 ratio 3 1 part cement 1.5 part sands and 3 parts aggregate so guys this is a short video about depth and width of the foundation and inside steel thanks for watching see you in next video goodbye